first. Congratulations on another great performance. Thank you. Uh, in Frozen Ground, Thank really you. like this movie. Uh, what what a tragic story for these victims. Oh, what happened yeah. to them? I understand that you spent some time with Mr. Glenn Floth. Yes. Is that right? Uh, Glenn uh, is the Alaskan State Trooper that uh, in the movie his name is Jack Halcom, and he's really the uh, engine behind getting Robert Hansen behind bars. Uh, I interviewed him for about three hours on the telephone and I was quite taken with how committed he was to uh, the justice uh, uh, of putting uh, Hansen behind bars. Uh, I remember reading some of the stories about Hansen and the things that he, horrible things that he did to these young ladies. It really started to bother me, you know, it's hard to sleep and and I asked Glenn, did this get in your head? Did this rattle you? And he said, no, it didn't get in my head. And I knew the way he said it that he wasn't going to stop, but that, that Glenn was as terrifying as Hanson, but on the side of justice, that right. this is the last person that Robert Hanson ever wanted to have on his case. Did you hear about this story back in the 80s? I didn't. I had friends that were familiar with it, and they told me about it, And uh, but I, I wasn't aware of it. And it's pretty... Uh, nightmarish to think that uh, this Hansen could treat people like animals and shoot them as they're running yeah. out in the snow. It's, yeah. a, it's a very scary situation. I mean, absolutely, he's not a normal person because no normal person would do that to anyone else. I mean, he seems a bit unstable in his, in his head. Well, it, he wasn't certifiably psychotic, which in, in some ways, you know, it makes it almost a bigger problem in that this is a person that's working within the community that is doing it because he thinks it's fun but doesn't you know you can't you can't put them in that category and treat it or do something about it you know so it's but he was very clever in the way he would trick the law uh, he was almost like a lawyer he was smart, smart almost yeah. like he knew he was like a lawyer in his own right about what he could and couldn't get away with I mean, what we're seeing right now is it's happening in Long Island. This, this story I back in the 80s. I did not know that. Oh, uh, no, no. Right now? I mean, I'm saying that the, 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 the killings yeah. uh, is happening right now in Long Island, that they haven't catched the killer oh, yet. Oh, right, yes, I heard All the prostitutes. Yes, yes. And it's, I just saw a piece on Dateline That's last right. week. That's right, I did read about very that. Tragic very tragic because, I mean, as a society, do we not care about these prostitutes? I mean, do we not see them as human beings? Right. Therefore, you know, you treat them in a... <clears throat> well, that's why it was so hard for Glenn Flothy to get Hanson behind bars. There was so much red tape. I mean, there's still people, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 he was not going to stop. But I, I hope, I mean, who knows, but maybe you know, when this movie comes out, it'll motivate people to do the right thing. So now what's your next project? Well, I... I uh, I'm not entirely ready to announce it, oh. so I have to be careful. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So after this film, uh, are we expecting to see, see uh, you anything? Yeah, I have a movie uh, directed by David Gordon Green called Joe. I just talked to him. Oh, he's a yesterday. He's a great, great guy yes. to work with. What yes. a process! Yes. And it's so liberating to work with him as. He an did actor. mention about Joe in yeah. Venice, or is coming up in Venice Film Festival. Yes. Yeah, so, and I haven't seen the movie yet, but. Um, I really enjoyed my process of working with David Gordon Green, so I'm, I'm excited to see it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. <laughs>